Hello and welcome to our Vault Video Library. Hi, I'm Coach Hayes from the University of Kansas and I'd like to share some simple ideas on how to watch a video and three checkpoints that you should watch for when you're watching that video. Okay, let's get started. The first thing we do is we try to watch our videos in regular speed. This gives that athlete the chance to watch to see how fast they're moving that day. To watch their pole drop and their plant timing to see if it's on time or if it's late. It also gives the athlete a chance to see if how powerful they are off the ground at takeoff. Okay, let's watch one. There you go. Okay, you can see that guy runs pretty well and has a pretty good plant and is very powerful off the ground. After watching regular speed, we back it up a little bit. And we watch it slow motion. Slow motion gives the athlete a chance to feel the rhythm of the event, but slow enough to start to see what they're doing. Now it's time to break it down frame by frame and analyze this thing a little bit. This is a good chance for you to, me to identify the three checkpoints. Checkpoint number one. Checkpoint number one is when the athlete on the step before their takeoff on this vaulter, it's their right foot because it's a right-handed vaulter. It would be a left foot with a left-handed. But when it lands on his left foot, the pole... When all the weights on the pole should be somewhere around the eye or the forehead, the top of the pole, or his right hand. Okay, a lot of beginners will have the pole down here at the shoulder at that same spot. So they would be basically 8 to 10 inches low with their plant in the, in the, at the, on the right foot support here. This guy's got a good early plant, does a very good job. Checkpoint number two is as the athlete comes all the way on top of his support leg or takeoff leg, his top arm is as tall and as straight as it can be. Okay, checkpoint number three is a hard one to watch for, but that's why we do frame by frame. Checkpoint number three, we like to see, you can see the right knee or the drive knee coming in front of the support leg and there's still no bend in the pole. Okay, after it's already up, there's bend in the pole. You can see that it's right before it. So we're looking for the lead knee to be in front before there's bend in the pole. You notice there's no bend in the pole yet. Now there's bend and it's way in front. That's checkpoint number three. So after we've analyzed the vault a little bit like that, then we run it back one more time and we run it slow motion so we can feel the rhythm, but we're still moving slow enough where we can kind of see the checkpoints and kind of get a good feeling of rhythm through the checkpoints because remember the vault's a moving event. It's not a stopped event. So there's a couple tips for you. Whoops. A couple tips for you. We finish off slow motion so we can feel the rhythm. So in review, watch and film, how do we do it? First of all, we watch it regular motion, then slow motion. frame by frame. Have a great day. I hope these little tips will help you with your vaulting or your coaching and come back and see us again. Talk to you later.